Hello and good day. Lots of you may know about the story or what's behind the most mysterious song on the internet. Today's episode is about the second most mysterious song on the internet. got back from the thrift store. So today at the thrift store I was going through the used CD selection and I was surprised to find a CD I've been looking for for a, a long time. Uh, well, there's another one I got, too. It was uh, The Best of Kiss, Volume 2. And this is the one I have been searching for, for what seems like forever. And it is the Air Supply Christmas album. And it had kind of a hefty price on it because they knew it was a collectible. So I was excited. I'm, I'm back at uh, my office and I'm gonna pull out my CD player and um, take a listen. I uh, can't wait to hear it. So I was hoping that it was gonna be the Air Supply Christmas CD, but it was actually this and I don't know what that is. It's mysterious to me. Uh, it reminds me of a story or a video I saw that was trying to reveal the mystery of a song on the internet that no one seemed to know its origins. And I'm wondering if this could be another song that might be the same. And Ken has asked me to tell you about the most mysterious song on the internet. Here is a snippet of the song. with any degree of certainty who wrote and performed the most mysterious song on the internet, which is why it is the most mysterious song on the internet. If you would like to learn more about the fascinating story behind the most mysterious song on the internet, check out the links below. It truly is a most perplexing mystery that will one day hopefully be solved. We now return to Ken and the second most mysterious song on the internet. This recording was the most oddest, disturbing, weird, strange recording I had ever heard. It had an advanced knowledge of infinite notes and scales, and subtle nuances that suggest extended cadences, a tonal expansion, 
astral transmission, nocturnal emission, spectral broadcast. You might say it had grand thinkings about it, like a translunar Saturn ring. I decided to start with first inquiring with my musical connections. So I had a direct line to the studio that Phil Spector works in. Hello? Hello? Phil? Phil, are you still there? Hello, Ted. How's it going? I, you know, I wanted to tell you, I plan on um, turning vegetarian. Since my connections to the music industry didn't really pan out, I wasn't able to get really any uh, answers or encouragement. I decided to put an ad in the local paper. So, oh yeah, there it is. Can somebody out there please help me identify this recording? P.S. If you have no information, please do not contact me. Well, it's been about another week and I really didn't get any response from that either. So I'm still at a loggerhead. Um, I think I'm going to go more online now, and uh, I'll try first at uh, Greg's List. The ad I put on Greg's List was pretty much the same, a couple different words. Just if you can help me identify this recording, it would be greatly appreciated. It would also, uh, if you know nothing about this recording, it would be greatly appreciated. Well, after not getting any sort of response for a good 13 days or so, I decided to try another tactic on the internet and solicit response um, via email and Twitter. All right, yeah, well, I made a list here because uh, suddenly I was uh, starting to get uh, at least an indication that somebody might have been aware uh, or listening to what I was putting out there and so I got this list that I compiled. It, it ended up being a number of different bands so I still have to figure out exactly which band it was but at least uh, this gives me the next step you know in trying to figure out who this is. It could be a, a band called The Beat Poets, it could be a band called The Vocal Point, it could be a band called The Obvious Enigma. It might be a band called The Men From Unclear. It could be Pure Power Play. Pet Rock Society, Afro Mind Explosion, Bell Bottom Overlords, The Golden Valley Escalators, Deep State Five, The Orphans of Hi-Fi, Avocado Good Time Band, Free Fog Overlay, Sorcerers of Sound, The Congregation Anonymous, The Weasels of Destiny, over the counter culture, the eardrum illusion. So I spent another good two weeks uh, accessing these bands, researching them, looking for any MP3s or downloads or videos. And I could not find anything that would suggest that these bands created this recording. So this proved to be a little bit more successful in that I did get a response. Uh, I got maybe more than one that all said, Ken, the name of the band is Muck, spelled with a C.
Well, thank you for watching this episode. As you can tell, I made some progress, but I think uh, I still have some work to do. Uh, my goal is, now that we know the name of the band, I want to look for anyone who still might be alive, who might have been involved in this mysterious recording. get you mad at me or anything so I hope everything's okay and uh, you know I just wanted to at least let you know that I'm going vegetarian Answer. Answer. Hello. 15 Answer. he made it the hard way <laughs> <laughs>